Hey everyone, happy Monday. Um, today for the Mixed Media Art School, our Monday prompt is gonna be wings. I am using one of the Crafters Workshops stencils. This is stencil number 616. And here I'm showing you just a few of the samples of pieces that I've done using this stencil. I like it because it has the wings open and like they're flying and spread out beautifully. And then it has it closed, kind of like they're tucked behind an angel. So I'm going to go ahead and use the closed version of the wings on this stencil in my piece. And I am using a piece of hot pressed watercolor paper. This is cut to 11 by 11 square. And because I'm going to be saturating the paper, I have it taped down with some painter's tape. Now, you can do it however you want. When I use any kind of acrylics, and here I'm using the Dilusions um, acrylic paints, I like to definitely saturate my paper with a lot of water. I can either use the brush or I use the water bottle to do this. And the reason I do this is that the acrylics tend to dry very quickly on watercolor paper. They tend to just immediately um, dry down so you'll get a lot of brush streaking or uh, blocking in your work and if you want the acrylics to behave more like a watercolor i just uh, recommend that you go ahead and saturate your paper or your brush and water down the paints just so that you get that beautiful subtle look but you get the intense colors that come from the acrylic paints um, I'm also going to be breaking a lot of rolls here. I'm going to be mixing cool colors with the warm colors. And I'm not saying you have to do that. You can do whatever you want. I do know that when I do do this, I like to use some of the gesso, white gesso or white paint just through the stencil before I put the oranges or the pinks or the reds on top of blues or purples or greens. And that way you get the full pigment of the color and it doesn't mix in with the undertones of the cool colors. Um, I'll have more information on this later throughout my video. And please, if you go ahead and do this project, tag me so I can see what you've done or, or how yours has come out. And don't feel you have to copy mine completely. I'd love to see people take my work and what I show them and give it their own twist. It, it would be great to see what you do. I promise I'll be following and looking. And uh, if you have any questions, make sure you shoot me a message or a DM and let me know. I will promise to get back to you. Um, for this background, I'm gonna be using several stencils and colors, and I will try to list every single one of them down below in the comments so that I can try to give you a full list of all the products that I use. And I will be back throughout this video to go ahead and talk to you and let you know what I'm doing. And again, if you have any questions, let me know. And I can't wait to see what you do. Happy Monday.
Okay, so here is an example. If you look in the center where I put some of the white paint, I used white acrylic here down first, and then I put the fuchsia and the orange down. You'll see that the center has that vibrancy of the pure color, but then on the outskirts of where I put the paint down, you'll see that it looks dirty. Um, that's what I'm trying to show you is that you can mix the colors and put them on top of each other, but you definitely need to put some sort of a white base if you want to get the true color of the paint to come through. So I just wanted to stop here and make sure that I pointed out what I'm doing. It, it is a little bit more work, especially when you're doing what I'm doing, and that is putting the paint down and then wiping it away over the top of the stencil. But uh, the effect is worth the time and the investment. Um, again, you have to make sure that you're using a, um, a wrung out baby wipe so that it's not too saturated. I tend to sometimes grab them too quickly and they're very wet. And then I get kind of bubbling and the paint when I wipe through doesn't look as good. But I'm gonna continue on with what I'm doing. I just wanted to point out that the white definitely makes a difference. It does. And it's all part of my madness. Um, I like to break rules and do things in this way because you get those really intense rainbow colors. And there's something about mixing the colors like this that when the orange comes through the cools, it's like looking at a sunset. And I really like this type of uh, style. So I will go ahead and be quiet again and let you listen to music. And I'll be back in a little bit.
So here I'm using some acrylic inks and the reason I'm using these to highlight the uh, center where the angel is, is uh, they're not gonna completely take away my background, but um, they are going to make it so that you focus in on the angel in the center. This time I used um, more of a white solid background for the angel. So I don't want to lose all the pattern in the background, but I also want to make sure that your eyes are drawn to her. Um, again, this is something that I did and you're going to see that I kind of changed my mind because I'm going to go ahead and do some stenciling over it because I felt like the blue kind of washed it out and made it too two-tone. But that's the fun of this. I just kind of get in the piece and keep going. And as I'm doing it, I change my mind. I go back and forth. I mean, it's hard to just commit to one thing and just keep it that way. And that's okay. Um, and I could have cut it all out and just deleted and spliced it so that you saw the perfection. But this is part of the process. In the process of doing art, we're going to find the ugly phase. We're going to find things that we do. And we're going to change our mind. <clears throat> Sorry, I have such bad allergies doing this whole voiceover thing has been like, you don't even want to know how many retakes I've done. But again, I'm just going to be quiet and keep going with this process. And I hope you really enjoy how it came out because in the end, she really came out pretty. Take care.
Okay, so at this point, most people could have stopped. And this is quite similar to the small wooden piece I showed you in the beginning. But if you know me, you know I'm not gonna stop because I decided that she needed some more color and some more wow. Plus, I already had a piece that looked like that. So stick with me and you get to see what I did.
Okay, here comes the tape peeling part. So you know the piece is finished. Um, I really like how this turned out. And in the end photo, you're gonna see that I did wanna go ahead and add some words into the center. And it says, with brave wings she flies. So I hope you really enjoyed this and you go ahead and tag me in your Monday prompt when you finish. And I look forward to seeing all your projects. Take care and have a great week.